We have found uh, and experimented with a new chopping technique and basically what we looked at was that uh, we wanted a better grip on the nucleus with a balanced tip. So we split up the FACO energies into the longitudinal and the torsional. Longitudinal for the grip, torsional for eating up the segments. So this is the longitudinal FACO and notice the grip it is generating on the nucleus. And now see the torsional FACO. Obviously the grip on the nucleus would not be that strong. The following video describes a new surgical step of a direct chop imbibing the merits of both the longitudinal and the torsional FACO. For a direct chop, it is important to have a good grip on the nucleus so that a direct chop can be completed. A longitudinal FACO helps in this step. It buries into the substance of the nucleus and creates a tight fit tunnel. And the grip is so strong that the direct chop is made so easy. Whereas in a torsional FACO, because of its side to side movements, it opens up the tunnel, reducing its grip on the nucleus, making chopping difficult. And now I am doing a grade 3 FACO. The chopping is purely with the longitudinal FACO. Notice the grip as I bury my balance tip into the substance of the nucleus. The grip never slips and I get good chops on my nucleus. The moment my chops are complete in the bag, I move on to torsional FACO and the cataract gets dissolved within seconds. The CDE of the whole procedure is under 5. In a hard cataract, I use the same principle. My chops are placed only with the longitudinal FACO. I get a good purchase on my nucleus and I am able to comfortably chop these hard nuclear pieces within the capsular bag. Once the pieces are emulsified, I move on to the torsional FACO and the balance steps qualities come into play and it dissolves the cataract in a jiffy. The whole procedure of doing a cataract, a hard cataract FACO emulsification appears so easy, comfortable, controlled. And the FACO time, as you look up at the top right corner of the screen, is just below 15 CDE, which is a good score for such a cataract. These are my settings for the longitudinal FACO with longitudinal amplitude at 75, on time at 50%, pulse at 18, zero torsional. An example of what could happen if I don't use longitudinal FACO for my chops. Notice I am holding the nuclear piece and then there is a slip. I am again holding a nuclear piece but because of the torsional or side to side movement of the FACO tip, the nucleus gets emulsified at the tip and I lose my grip.
in this third situation i am able to get my grip and do my chop in this fourth chop i again lose my grip therefore we recommend longitudinal feco for a direct chop and torsional feco for quadrant removal with a balanced tip thank you